Hello gentlemen, welcome back to an updated video on how to install and use the water tanks free camera modification. I had to update this because of various reasons, but here it is at last, and let's take a look at some of the magical accomplishments that you can make in water tanks if you have this mod. So, that's the story, and we need your help to train E50. I'm sorry, I'm, look, I'm all for training, but what the hell can this guy possibly teach me? I'm gonna stop you right there. Turned. Let's just delve into this. So, what you're going to do is go into your water tanks folder, wherever that is. In my case, I have a load of them because I like to play when you play from my old patches, so I install a new, entirely new version of water tanks whenever I do it. So, for me, it's here water tanks 9.15.1.1. Bloody point. Alright, so you're going to find your Les Mods folder inside here. I've got history and archives of everything, but go into your 9.1 and then you want to find your GUI folder. Now, I'm not sure whether this is naturally here or whether it's, well, it's installed because of Quiggy Baby's mod pack, I imagine, which it may help for you to install. I, I'm not sure if it's essential for you to have that installed. Don't imagine it would be at all. What you can do if you don't want to install that mod pack, which I do recommend, it's quite vanilla, is... You go in here and you create this GUI folder. Nothing else, just a folder with GUI in it and that's gonna serve your purposes quite well. So inside your GUI folder, this is what most of you will be missing. Now I will put a link to where you can download this in the description. I will make sure I keep it updated um, in the patches if I can. But there are a couple of problems with this that I should make you aware of before it does not work with the enhanced zoom modes. Um, so, uh, 18 and 32 times zoom. Um, when you play the game with this mod installed here, you will not be able to use those zoom modes. It, it just won't let you. So what I encourage you to do is create another folder outside of your World of Tanks thing. You can see here I've got World of Tanks from your camp file. And what I do is I just store the avatar my input handler in here when I'm not using it. When I am, I cut back, I go back to that original location, and I put it back in here whenever I want to view a replay. It's a little bit of a hassle, but it means I can still use the enhanced zoom modes while using this fabulous mod. So basically, the only thing that you have to do is download this mod from the link in the description, or, or download the avatar input handler, Put it in here, inside the GUI folder in your Linux mods, whatever patch it may be. And then open up World of Tanks and it should be working for you. Now, let's dive into a game and I'll show you how to use the damn thing. Alright then, one two. Oh, welcome to Sand River, by the way. Let's take a look in detail at what makes the free camera modification tick. So, when you load into your beautiful game and view your amazing statistics and how amazingly beautifully good you are at the game, I'm stalling until the countdown ends, which is what you've got to do. And there we go. Okay, so once the countdown ends, you're going to click once and that will take you to your free camera right here. Then you're going to hold caps lock and you're going to hit F. Three. Voila! We are three! Let us escape into the distance, YOLO! Okay. Right, so I'm controlling it just as I would a tank. You gentlemen should have multiple experiences of that. And as you're noticing right here, I've made it smooth. It used to be blocky like this, I've made it smooth. 
P is your cannon stabilizer. If you hit P, you can change it from this movement right here to this movement. You saw the snap zoom there. That is because, as I mentioned earlier, of the enhanced zoom modes. The, the 16 and 32, I think it is. Those modes do not work with this modification. They're not designed to. So if you're in a game where you're using those mods... Those zoom modes, you're going to see it in the frame cam, like just then. I didn't zoom in, it's just reflecting my zoom mode because it's still connected to my tank. But that shouldn't be the case if you're just after some highlights and stuff, you should be able to avoid that. So forgive the jumping about. So WASD controls my movement. I can go up and down by looking up and down, but it's far easier for me to just use E and Q which controls my altitude, so I can go up with Q, down with E, and now I'm below the floor. And then I can push X. Now what X does is it snaps you to the floor plane, wherever that may be. For example, if I'm going along here, it's going to keep me at the same height above the ground, wherever I sit. If I'm 50 meters above the ground, I'll keep being 50 meters above the ground, no matter where the ground goes. If I'm right close to the ground, then I'll be right close to the ground, no matter where. I go so I can pull along here and I'm still gonna oh god that's that's awful oh my word okay so I'll lock, lock to the ground by pushing X basically if I push X again and move then I can move below the floor plane and I can move above the floor plane so if you do want to lock yourself to a particular tank for example Lovely Tannis over here, platooned with me, he's going to be a bit jumpy as he's far away from my tank. I can go up to him, and when I've got this, I can hit B. That way when I play, my camera will follow the tank, apologies for the jumpiness around, and that can allow you to get some amazing shots. Now I'm hitting V to enable and disable my HUD, that's not part of a mod, that's just the game. Um, what else? You can control the speed of the camera with the number keys. So if I hit 1, then I'm going to be able to move my camera very slowly and get these very cinematic shots like this. If I hit 0, then I'm going to be able to move very, very fast across the map and maybe get some more advancing action shots, perhaps. Uh, you can see the camera step after working lovely. And I want to hit X to make sure I'm glued to the floor, blah, 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 like so. So, okay, splendid. Now, you can, I believe, oh, I've messed it up. All right, now, here it's going to get a little kooky. If you do want to really switch up your shots a little, which I recommend, you can use three and two. And these are going to rotate your camera, and you're going to get very, very dizzy, and you're going to need a lot of experience. And if you get stuck, you can hit the R button, to instantly reset to a, a plain and normal camera view, which is handy. If you just get stuck on the rotation and want to instantly snap back, then you can hit R. You can see I'm constantly snapping back to a standard, purely horizontal view. Now, if you do want to adapt your shots even further, another thing I recommend is to use the insert and delete buttons, which adjust the POV of your shot. For example, how could one look at my good self right here and make make me look even more epic than I already do naturally by being me. Well, I can hit B to attach myself to my track. I can punch in tight. I can put the one button so that the camera movement is stable, but it's still not dominating the shot. You know, that's where the insert comes in for me. Quite often, I will take my shot back at distance about here and I'll use the insert button. And that way, the shot becomes more condensed. It looks, you can see how that feels far more of the shot. It looks far more imposing than it would if I was just in close. And you see the difference? That is really helpful. And when you're making your YouTube videos, I encourage you to use that because people do it in real filming as well. I, I, I've used this technique on some of my short films before, but now if I push, look at the difference between those two shots. I'm further away now, and it just seems all that more epic because of the depth of field and POV. You've got stuff going in the foreground. If you use the insert and delete buttons, 
you can pull in and punch out for some really, really cool shots. And that's just absolutely wonderful. And as far as I know, that is all I have to tell you. All I have to cover about your use of the Frank Cantler mod. I hope it very much assists you in all of your one tanks related endeavors. You should check out your replays, blah, 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 blah. And if I might find a uh, beg just a couple more moments of your time. This is a World of Tanks channel. We do World of Tanks content. Long moments, good games, blah, blah, blah. Um, stick around if you do fancy doing that. Bye. Right. Farewell. See you. Oh, oh. Say bitches. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, no. Oh, no.